Hello my beautiful Virgos, welcome to your 2021 predictions with me Lorian at Wellington Witch. This is going to cover Virgo Sun, Moon or Rising sign. So if you do want to check out other elements of your chart, do look at the other ones as well. This is um, the Divide Away Tarot. So every deck, well, every sign has had a different deck um, called to them. So this one wanted to do for you. And as I always say, this will be a general reading. So if you don't feel like anything resonates right now, maybe wait a few months and you'll think, oh yeah, Lorian mentioned this. Um, so yeah, just go with it. We're going to do four cards. One for each season. It will apply north and south hemispheres. I'm not just going to do the northern hemisphere for you guys. And then we're going to do three cards. One for career, one for love, one for spirit as well. Got a lot of opportunities coming up for you at the moment actually these are not yours a lot of opportunities coming through and something about aries so let's have a look no i'm going to do another one <laughs> there go. yeah this is yours okay so nice we have the high priestess nine of swords and then we have the page of wands and the wheel of fortune lovely right so these are the four seasons so we have winter into spring spring into summer summer into autumn autumn into winter however it will be the opposite for the southern hemisphere they're not going to do different ones for each it's just the timing of the year um so like January to March, April, April to the end of July, that kind of thing, you know? So let's have a look. The High Priestess to start with is a brilliant card. Um, so especially for you guys, Virgos are often um, very practical, but you do have incredible intuition. So there is a lot of potential here for you to tune into your own source of energy, your own source of intuitive flashes that will tell you what's happening, how it's doing, you know, kind of what's going on around you. There's an unconscious awareness that you tap into. And it also may be that you're having to find that duality. You are engaging, I think, in your mercurial energy too. There could be a balance of yin and yang here that you have to focus on, the negative, the positive, the male, the female, the kind of, you know, the polar opposites. So it could be something that you're dealing with the good and also the bad start of the year. Um, but I don't think that this is anything negative at all. This is just kind of like you wrapping up what 2020 left you, like, <laughs> you know, after a party, it just feels like there's dust and there's grime and the stuff places that you didn't want if from 2020. So you're just cleaning that up and you're actually getting forwards into 2021 very quickly. It's like, okay, enough of this. I'm just going to carry on. So I feel as though you're actually going into more of a settled start to 2021, getting all your ducks in a row, making sure you know what you have to do, hopefully not being too overwhelmed with everything that you have to do. Cause I know some of you can be very, um, hard working but that kind of to-do list just keeps growing because you find more things that you feel you have to do then so just kind of relax a little bit take it on board just kind of sit back into something else because I think if you don't do that and if you rely too much on you know being a constant machine middle of the year you're going to have some burnout and uh, the nine of swords is more like a sleepless night's having a bit of anxiety about things that you can't control so there's something that's like if you can't control it don't try and put it on a to-do list you know it's like other people's emotions you cannot try to control those how you how someone else is going to react you cannot try to control those similar in some physical things in life you just cannot control it but you can help avoid a burnout by being very much about pacing yourself. I also feel here that you're going to have some anxiety over maybe something that you've done in the run up to this you know, kind of time. So this would be spring into summer and also autumn into winter in the Southern Hemisphere. So it could be something that you're kind of really worked hard at and now you're like, oh, I've a bit of brain frazzle. This is a type of moment to say, look, things are going to fruition. Things are now nearing the end of a cycle. You're probably going to have some bittersweet things going on here. Um, 
for some of you I feel this is something to do with another person um, not being very nice or you know something that's kind of breaking down with regards to this other person for others I feel like um, there's something that you can take a step back and actually go you know what I don't need to be as bothered by that I don't need to be as worried about that and when I say this other person's going to be breaking down or something it's just to kind of see if you can remould it or it's the end of an era or it's something like that it's just an ending of some kind so you may feel like wow this is actually just completely finished but it continues time continues we're not all having an asteroid at the moment so it's just like oh, I shouldn't tempt fate um there's just something that feels like you're moving on you're continuously moving forwards and honestly it does but I do believe you've got so many good things coming to you you have so many positive things coming to you this is just a bit of a blip I don't think this would last a season I feel this would be maybe a week or two weeks within that kind of time frame that you feel very drained you feel very much like you can't sleep there may be something keeping you awake a problem that you can't solve because you can't control it that's fine you just have to release the control of that and hopefully you know invite the universe to resolve it on its own because I don't want you to get too much caught up in the details caught up in the little things because that's not going to be very helpful to anybody on this stage so I think that there's going to be as far as I can see here there's going to be more positives to end the year and it's just this little blip you know everyone has them occasionally it could just be that again you've burnt yourself out maybe constantly asking yourself what am I doing right what am I doing wrong looking at things consulting things consulting tarot depleting your soul energy and just completely going into a sort of ugh, bucket type feeling where you just have to refill the well so make sure around this time around mid-year that you do take time for yourself and take time for your self-care and make sure that you don't have all these doubts flooding in your mind because you just need to get rid of those so then we have the page of ones starting off the final six months of the year so this would be summer into autumn or winter into spring within this page it brings forth messages of enthusiasm discovery invitations it could be short trips in fact i see some short trips for you um, appointments that kind of thing it could be an opportunity for a new direction a new look as well i don't know why they wanted to say a new look um you may want to reinvent yourself in some way again if this has kind of been an end of an era you kind of go right next stage of my life next thing so it's kind of like when women have a breakup and they redo their hair <laughs> you know that kind of thing it's just something i'm not saying you're going to break up with anybody but it just feels like I'm going to redo myself, I'm going to feel rejuvenated and I'm going to go forwards and have a look at things um, and so I do feel that this is your aligning to happiness this is your enthusiasm for the next stage and it's almost like it is what you make of it you've had all the lessons, you've done all the things you now only have one thing to deal with the card before this is the ten of wands so I feel like the burden and the responsibilities indicated of the ten of wands you now have only one thing to deal with well, you should have one priority and that's kind of you basically making sure that you mold yourself into something that you feel you can contain you feel that you can manage like Virgos like to have a lot of things doing on the go I have a lot of stuff to do usually I have a lot of hobbies have a lot of interests um, you like because you're very mercurial you like to explore things so I think this is something that's really helping you kind of build some confidence back up build some emotional resonance and mental resonance back up from the little dip you had maybe around here so I do think that this is going to be quite important for you this is going to be something that you feel like you can go forward with a very positive edge because this is just incredible here as well Sorry if it's gone slightly dark also because we just had some storm clouds roll in. So the sun has gone. <laughs> That's it for the rest of the day here. Um, but the Wheel of Fortune coming through is so nice to see. The Wheel of Fortune brings forward a turning point. So end of the year, end of 2021 potentially, you've got uh, autumn to winter, spring into summer. I had to figure that out then. You have such a great potential here. So I always think of the Wheel of Fortune like you're going around a sort of Ferris wheel like the London Eye and it can seem incredibly slow. But you will now recognise the turn. I think you're going to be on top here somewhere. You see where you want to go. You see the obstacles that you have to face. You see the direction where you need to 
to take yourself, you know. There's other things that you can see, moments, monuments, historical things, past, ling past lives maybe. Um, but it's just something that you've gone through before. And then you step into the future and you kind of do the cycle again. So it's that sort of thing like, right, I have my vision, I have my view as to what I want to see from the world, what I want to gain from the world, and also what I want to give to it. And this is kind of where you take everything that's happened in 2021, ups, downs, good, bad, whatever it is that you have, or whatever you see, you, they kind of show me a little knapsack. So whatever it is that you want to pack into this little knapsack thing and just carry with you into 2022, that is going to be the key moment for here or your personal vision, your turning point into this new era. I feel like for you, Virgo, this year is a new era. And I don't know why, but it just feels very brand new. Or something ends, something changes and you go forwards into some place completely different. I do feel, because it's a five year, this is going to be creativity, play, you know, childlike spirit and enthusiasm. Whereas the four year, 2020, was all about home and we have stayed at home quite a bit. So the five year is more about you um, moving into some place I think that's beneficial to you. Maybe you're literally moving. Maybe you're literally moving house. Maybe that's the end of an era. You feel like you're finally branching out on your own somewhere. Or you feel like you are starting. More, more honestly than that. Starting something new that is best for you. Like I'm ready to move forwards. But it's kind of bittersweet. Because you look back and think. Oh so many memories here. I can't believe I'm moving forwards here. So I think that's kind of. Um poignant for you too um but the five years very much very swift it's lanes changing lanes all the time where am i going don't know so if you're uncomfortable with that which you may be here you just need to kind of sort of yeah, i think i said this to leo just pull on the brakes slightly just kind of just want to be a bit slower than this and then see where else you can go where else you can figure things out i do have the impression that some of you are just going to get swept up in this wave of energy and for some of you that lack of control can be really disconcerting because you want to have things in order but it just you're just gonna have to go with it you're gonna have to learn to dance with the tornado basically because sometimes not in a negative way i know tornadoes are destructing destructive even um but it's just a feeling of whoa getting swept away with the year being very very um kind of on uh, every time you put your feet down you get swept away again it's that feeling of consistently moving energetically but maybe again for some of you consistently moving regardless um or maybe just moving <laughs> all right so we have do you want me to take three from the top i'm just asking the cards sorry it's a rhetorical question to them yeah i think they want me to take three from the top so um normally i shuffle again but not this time um so we have one for career, one for love, and one for spirit. The first for career. <gasps> Yay, no wonder they wanted me to keep this for you. So again, new start. Maybe you get a job in another country. Maybe you have a new career opening up to you. It's finally like a stamp of approval. And you're like, yes, you have these doors opening. You have these opportunities coming in. I said that to you earlier. I feel like there's opportunities. It's just about being open to them, however scary they seem or sound. Like you have to give up this house or you have to give up this way of life in order to go into this arena sort of thing. And it's like a constant change for you. So I do feel it's very interesting. I'm really looking forward to seeing what else comes through. But the Ace is very much about stepping into that manifestation as prosperity and um, having this offered to you. This is being offered to you seemingly out of the blue from the sky. This <laughs> from the sky, this goes, hello, would you like an opportunity? So it's just kind of that for you it's really lovely love oh king of cups so you could be involved with a scorpio cancerian or pisces man um i do feel though <laughs> with this king of cups is very emotionally balanced it could be somebody who's your champion um it could be to be honest, I, <clears throat> sorry i lost my voice and to be honest it may not even be a gentleman it could just be the p physical being of a person who's very doe-eyed blue kind of glossy or glassy eyes magical eyes feels very much somebody who is on your side um somebody who really is like warm and comforting that's what i get from this person very in control of their emotions and they are there to assist you so either you already know of this person or you're going to meet this person 
And I do feel that this is going to conjure up a lot of potential love for you, a lot of feelings of oh, just calmness and feeling very at one or at peace with something here. It just feel very peaceful, gentle, not feeling overwhelmed, energies that are very balanced, which can actually help you. <laughs> it can actually help you if you get too stressed out. You know, if these moments stress you out a little bit too much, this person can come in and assist you. It could even be a friend who's just really level-headed and is there for you, who listens to you. Um, but I do feel a great deal of love from this person. And then to finally, message from Spirit, Page of Pentacles. Lovely. So you have this with um, the kind of messages. Again, you have two pages. So this is more about manifestation, new enterprises. Again, I think you're going to change your life with your career and with maybe with the place that you are because this is about physical things so this is about where you live how you get your money the physical place that you want to walk around like the city maybe that you want to visit this is your career because that's how you get money um this is the tangible things that you can hold possessions you know maybe you come into an investment somewhere but this is definitely like a payoff, something that you're taking on board into the future that feels just perfect. It feels so nice. It's like cashmere, silk, something really luxurious. And to be honest, you do not have a negative card apart from that self-doubt, apart from that anxiety that may go into your mind, take root there and be like, you can't do this Virgo because you can't control this outcome or you can't do this Virgo because blah blah blah. Now I do feel that some of you do overwork yourself, you do maybe have a fear of failure and that's why you work so hard. This is just kind of saying look if you trip up, if you make a mistake, it is clearly not the end of the world. It is clearly nothing to do with this. And I feel like what the cards are trying to say to you at this point in time is you have got a lot of opportunity on this way to you, a lot of doors that you have knocked in the past are now opening up to you. You are not designed to stay on the same path if you don't want to be there. For instance, you may have joined a career five years ago, ten years ago, and you think that's it now, I can't do anything else. Of course you can. You can do something else. You just have to figure out what that might be, you know, where your passions lie. Look inside yourself, look into yourself. I don't see this as a very lovey-dovey year. Um, the main focus is about your personal progress and how you're manoeuvring yourself to achieve that, to get there, to accept that. This is actually a really pleasant, positive reading. <laughs> and there's literally nothing else that I can tell you apart from go for this Virgo, but make sure you take care of yourself. Make sure that you're looking in on yourself and checking in as you would a friend, like, how are you doing? You okay? Make sure the dialogue that you talk to yourself with is friendly, is positive, something that you want to, you know, something that you'd like to hear from somebody else, you say it to yourself, you know? And then also, not just say it to yourself, believe it. Believe what you're saying to yourself. And I think that you won't need to hear it from anybody else if you say it to yourself. You don't need the outside validation. You don't need the outside people going, you are worthy, you are enough, you are things. You just need to say that to yourself. I am worthy, I am enough. I deserve these opportunities. I deserve to step into this zone. I deserve to be able to move to Bermuda or whatever it is you want to do. You know, that feeling of, I deserve this. I'm going to do it and I'm not really going to let anything hold me back from doing it. And I think that you are going to be kicking butt and taking names as you do so. But it is in your hands. It is in your kind of control you just have to sometimes rely on the universe to shift the wheel in your favor sometimes if you look back i bet you'd see things that you thought you really really wanted and it was actually really fortunate that you didn't get it in the end and you actually got something better because you didn't get the other thing so do keep that in mind as well that sometimes what you want is not the right thing it's what you need that comes towards you to get to the next stage and you don't know that until afterwards but do really really do let me know what you want from 2021 let me know if this resonated with you i really do hope things are coming forwards for you very soon my lovely virgos if you'd like to email me all the details are down below and my website is there too but in the meantime take care of yourselves and each other and i'll speak to you very very soon